Hey, Snickers back tonight. Got a bit of a different one for you tonight. This is called Just Browsing. Oh, we've not actually booted into it yet. I'm still on my main system here, as you can see. But I'm going to go to the website. I'm just going to show you about it before we boot it up in VirtualBox. Because otherwise, unless you've got an external recorder, it's near enough impossible to record, okay? So this is the Just Browsing website, okay? <clears throat> Been going for two years, apparently. And it's just for web browsing only. Nothing else, okay? So I thought it could be a good kiosk thing, okay? But we'll come back to that a bit later. So we'll scroll down for you. Okay, yeah. Uh, uses live CD, so once you stop the live CD, it's, nothing is there, okay? It's all gone. Designed with old machines in mind. Don't throw out your old computer. Now, there is lots of distros that do this, okay? But it used to be a big thing a few years ago, and there's been no new ones for a while. Now, this is one of the new ones, okay? So we'll see how we go. So all you get is Firefox and Chrome. Okay, you can sign in. Yeah, no problem at all. So it's based on Arch Linux. It's 64-bit. I think there is a 32-bit version. So we're going to go to Details, okay? Well, it uses the lightweight i3 window manager, which I rather like. The bottom panel is Add Disk Bar. Displays time and date and some settings. Okay, so everything is there basically for you. And web apps can be launched from this panel or toggle the browser session, and I'll show you that in a minute. But the bookmarks he's gave you, which we're going to have a look at in a minute, and I'll show you, are toolbar help, tips, etc., etc. Artwork is DeviantArt, Draw, Flickr, and Vimo. Cloud is Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, Jolly Drive, and Minus. I'm not sure I've heard of Minus. Music, you get to access GrooveShark, iPlayer Radio, Last FM, Pandora, Playlist, Shoutcast, Slacker, and Songza. A few shops there. Amazon Camel. Not, I have not heard of that one. If anybody's heard of that, let me know, because I'm not going to be bothered to look it up. Under social, you get all the usual. Facebook, G+, IMO Messenger, LinkedIn, Pinterest, SoundCloud, Spotify, StumbleUpon, Tumblr, and Twitter. Under the TV section, you get MyTV, Hulu, iPlayer TV, Titan TV, and Video ETA. Whatever the hell that is, okay? Well, ad blocking comes as standard, okay? So in Firefox, you get ad block edge, pop up, hiding helper, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to go too much with it through you. you. Get some plugins for Chrome, so you get Google Hangouts. That'd be nice, isn't it? You just want to run it from a disk at the end of the day. Just make sure you've got plenty of RAM to start with, okay? So I'm going to close that window down, and we're going to start it. So we'll go straight to the box. A nice little clear out for you. And we're going to start it. Okay, so here we go. And it boots as normal so i'm going to scroll down and i'm using virtual box so we click ok now i want 1920 by 1080 in virtual box so that's good for me there are plenty of other seconds you can play with but these are the main ones you really want to okay so i'll give it a little while for it to load into my ram and do some stuff and now you're thinking oh it's not going full screen but give it time it's thinking about it there we are just browsing got chrome and Firefox, and basically, that's all you get. Now, I thought originally this was going to be fantastic for a kiosk. So, as soon as you close the browser, off we go. Now, as you can see here, the browser starts automatically once you've all loaded up. Okay, so if I go up here to my history, let's have a look. Nothing in my history, so that's good. Yeah, that's good. Before we do anything else here, I'm going to close that bit there, and we're going to go into settings. Because you do get a couple of options, by the way. So, I'm um, 1920 by 1080. That's good. I want to change the key map. So, I want to go to British, GB, Apply. Okay. Time zone, we want Europe, of course. So, we go down to Europe. Then we're just going to choose London. be fine. Or Dublin. doesn't really matter, really, does it? But London will do for me. And Apply. Then our locale is English, GB, and Apply. We save that. And as you can see, everything's changed down here. So uh, they'll call GB. The right time and date. That's right, it's 10.52 here in the UK. And we are in Firefox. And it's quantum, by the way. Yeah, it is quantum. Okay, so what I'm going to do, we're going to go to... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go to TV. And we'll go to the iPlayer TV. Will it work? And it's a live, live distribution. Looks like it will. Okay. I'm going to just quickly choose a program... Just to show you, Detectress, okay? Now remember, when you've got the iPlayer now, you have to log in before you can actually watch the program. So if I go here, 
to play that program, you need to sign in or register. It is just standard now for BBC. So what about if I close that browser? Watch what happens. It goes, and then it will give it a minute restart. Okay. Now I was imagining, to be really honest with you, that that would clear all the cache and history, but it doesn't. Okay. So you may have to change some things in here to make it okay for a kiosk. Otherwise, everybody else's settings is going to be there. Okay. So if I close that down and open Chrome, for instance, so click on Chrome. Just wait. We're waiting, waiting, waiting. It is a little bit buggy, not too much, but just a little bit. So we're in Chrome. That's super. Okay. So we can go to YouTube. Okay. We'll open YouTube. Will it work? I'll put me in just quickly, okay? Just to make sure it works, basically. Okay. It's one I've done the other day. Will it work? Works perfectly, even though you get these adverts. But you have to have them with YouTube comes with the game doesn't it okay and there we go and there's my video can we get to go to full screen and 1080p yes we can no problem at all so what if i close that down what happens five or three to it reopens but is there any history there no i can't remember where to find history near here history here we go yes it's keeping all my history so if you want this a kiosk App, you'd really, really, really need to change some settings. Okay, okay we're going to let it open again, and I'm going to show you some more stuff before we go on to something else. We we'll go back to settings. Now, say you're a business and you want to offer this uh, service to your customers, say in the lobby or in a room somewhere, you can add some printers. So at least they will be able to print some stuff out, save so uh, businessmen on their way in and out and doing stuff. And there's plenty here, and you could put your own stuff in. Of course, there's no USB printer detected because we're in the box. Yeah. Go to advanced. You can change mouse acceleration, timeout, screen backlight, and sound volume, etc. We're just going to quick that. Okay. Now, on the whole, if you really want this sort of thing, it's fine. Just plug the disc in, do your browsing. That you don't want nobody to see why you would do it. I don't know, but some of you may have some reasons for doing that. So, what is wage clock, which is also down here? Let's have a click and see what happens. Oh, tells you how much you're earning. I don't think I really want to know that, to be honest with you. We've also got an email client. You wouldn't really want to enable that on this sort of system, personally. But if you're running from home, and you want to use this sort of system, why, again, you may have your reasons, it may be okay. Timers, a calculator, and some notes. So, what's notes? Let's have a look. It's just a web app. Okay, super duper. I mean, it does what it says on the tin at the end of the day just browses and this time I've had no bugs okay I've been using it for about two or three days and sometimes you get both browsers open up so if I open up Firefox here will I get two or will I get one okay at the moment ah uh, and now they're both open okay now I was hoping only one would open at a time but that is not to be okay so we'll just close that one down and then we're back to Firefox okay we'll close it down again and there we go. Now, just browsing, you may like it, you may want to try it. I'll tell you what, it's not a really, really big download. Go and give it a try. Go and just, just go and give it a try. You may like it. It may have everything you need on it. Or you may want to put it in, say, the kitchen on an old machine you have, just for doing odd stuff. On the whole, it's okay. Would I use it myself? No, not really. But there is applications for it out there. Maybe in schools, libraries and stuff like that if they get some stuff sorted like the history okay so if i go to history now because we're in firefox of course now it knows where i've been already it's not deleted it so if you're doing some sensitive information that's not very good anyway just thinking so i'll see you later bye bye